Avalanches. Avalanches are big, dangerous sheets of snow and ice that fall from the snowy hills of the tundra that are often caused by people and animals that get caught in it. Another type of avalanche is a slab avalanche where it shatters like glass and falls down hills. If you're going skiing in an avalanche prone area, you need to take an avalanche safety course and make sure you have an experienced group leader. When driving, obey all road closures due to explosives being used to clear roads. Furthermore, note any signs in an avalanche area do not stop. If you happen to be in an avalanche, keep, your in, keep in the car with your seatbelts on, for it is a lot easier to find a car than a person. If you somehow ended up in an avalanche, despite the warnings, try to create a pocket of air and leave your arm up towards the sky to signal where you are. Avalanches have effects on wildlife and vegetation. The higher parts of the mountain only have sparsely grown grass or other small vegetation that are capable of withstanding the harsh cold and lack of water. Because not much vegetation occurs on the side of a mountain, most animals cannot survive in this environment. Though some wildlife includes bighorn sheep, mountain goats, brown bears, black, black bears, grizzly bears, mountain lions, and antelope. Um, the positive effects on of avalanches are whenever an avalanche occurs, it will lose large amounts of snow away, which could uncover soil for plants to begin growing, as well as previously hunted animals that feed on any carnivore organisms. Negative effects include um, killing and destroying other animals. Um, it can leave a lasting impression on the di dynamic of the environment, which could, you know, kill other animals. And um, many villages, ski resorts, and others living near mountains that is at high risk of being victim to an avalanche. Mostly sheep, ibex, and goats are vulnerable to this natural occurrence, and the number of deaths have grown significantly higher over time.